Hello, I'm Paul Single, Managing Director at City National Rockdale, and welcome to Economic Perspectives. There is some very exciting news out there for the economy. Over the past several years, the U.S. and global economies have been plagued by three major headwinds. There's been Brexit, trade tensions with China, and rising interest rates. Based on recent headlines, they all appear to be safely behind us. For some of this, Brexit and the trade tensions with China, we know very little about the timing and have very few details. But it's reassuring that both of these issues are on the path toward resolution. Let's start with a little bit more detail on Brexit. The election is over, but Brexit is not. If all goes as planned, the UK will soon leave the European Union. This means that they will need to establish a new trade agreement with the EU, their largest trading partner. Trade negotiations are not easy. Fortunately, there's a provision in the separation that allows for a transition period. That will allow for tariff-free trade and free movement of people until December 31st, 2020. During those 11 months, they will work diligently trying to establish a new trade agreement. That may not be enough time. Negotiations at the end are sure to get hairy. And at the same time, the UK has to negotiate trading agreements with all their other trading partners. They don't have any. All their trade deals in the past were with the EU, not the UK. Then there's phase one of the trade pact with China. It's very light on the details, but it is a welcome sign of detente. Trade has been a drag on growth for four of the past five quarters. But the bigger picture of the trade conflict is not the dollar of value loss in trade. Instead, it's the uncertainty and lost opportunity it has created and has weighed very heavily on the U.S. economy. Business leaders have cut back significantly on investment spending, which has been a drag on GDP. And they've been forced to spend an awful lot of time and energy deciding on the new need of supply chains. Finally, there's interest rates. After cutting interest rates by 25 basis points in each of the three previous meetings, the Fed appears to be done with what they call their mid-cycle adjustment. Those rate cuts arrested the recessionary fears amid the ongoing trade conflict and should prolong this expansion, much like it did in the 1990s when they did a mid-cycle adjustment. The Fed has stated that monetary policy is in a good place, and they do not plan to raise interest rates at all in 2020. All of this is good news for the U.S. economy and the global economy. Let's hope that it all plays out this way. I want to take a moment and wish you all a happy new year, and I wish you the best. Thank you for watching. This is Paul Single, and we will see you next month.